Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Past Life Exposed. I Build a Foundation. Chapter 16. In the screen. As the contents of the file ended, Lin Lang and the others had left the transport plane and arrived at a base that looked like a factory. Everyone immediately connected this factory with Outpost 54 mentioned before. Inside the outpost, Dr. Kondraki is speaking. After SCP-1983 was discovered, a team from Mobile Task Force Kai-13 was dispatched through the front doorway to investigate the anomaly. They did not return. After a pause, he continued. Nevertheless, shortly after they entered, the front door appeared and was closed. In other words, it is closed with the door frame, because the door does not appear on the wall. Quote. Doesn't the door appear on the wall? What does it mean? Among the crowd. Except for a few timid D-class personnel, the other agents and members of the mobile task force all remained silent. Like a solemn statue, Dr. Kondraki's tone remained unchanged. Some time ago, a second strike team entered SCP-19831 to determine the fate of the first strike team. They didn't come back. The front door was not closed. Soon after, Agent Morris entered the doorway due to the emergence of a new instance of SCP-1983-2. Shortly after that, the front door closed. Quote. Having said that, his eyes scanned the people in front of him, and finally stopped at the D-class personnel, or rather, Lin Lang. Your mission is to enter SCP-19831 with closed-circuit cameras, inspect as many areas as possible, and then attempt to return. The words fell. In the live broadcast room, the audience who were curious just now were stunned. From what Dr. Kondraki just said, it is not difficult to see that the mortality rate for anyone who enters SCP-1983 is almost 100%. What? Is he kidding? Shit, does this doctor know what he said? I thought I was going to let them attract SCP-19832 to appear, but it turned out that they were allowed to enter SCP-1983-1. Hell, last time I seduced 682 with my bare hands, this time I sent him directly into hell. This doctor is the ultimate wolf slayer. He is indeed an executioner. The atmosphere inside S.H.I.E.L.D. was a bit surprising. After a long silence, an agent spoke angrily. Are all SCP Foundation researchers so cold-blooded? Nick Fury glanced at him. He said, When you join, an unknown danger appears in front of you. Will you let an agent who has spent a lot of money to train join you, or will you let a heinous death row prisoner join? This. The agent stopped talking. In fact, there are also some human experiments within S.H.I.E.L.D. It is no exaggeration to say that without human experiments, there would be no Super Serum and no Captain Steve. Because of this, although he sympathized with Lin Lang, he did not feel sorry for other D-class personnel. What really matters to Nick Fury is. They didn't come back. Just six words like that meant that the first team to enter had been completely wiped out. But even so, the second team still entered. For those D-class personnel, there may be no choice. But what about other agents? A sentence suddenly occurred to him. It's a long way to go, what if you never come back? Then leave and never come back. In the screen. After Dr. Kondraki finished speaking, there was a commotion among the D-class personnel. Maybe it was because of the previous dialogue that those people were desperate, but no one resisted anymore. They accepted their fate. Definitely, maybe they're just acting like this, who knows. On the way to SCP-19831, the previous D-class personnel who, like Lin Lang, also volunteered to join this containment mission came to Lin Lang. Hey, big brother, hello, you are the famous D-14134 in the base. I have admired you for a long time. The boy has an ordinary face but a very pure smile. It's so pure that it makes people wonder how someone like him became a D-class personnel. The boy was stunned for a moment, as if he didn't expect Lin Lang to take care of him, let alone Lin Lang asking this question. He opened his mouth, and when the words reached his lips, he swallowed them again. Finally, he showed a complicated smile, I'll tell you when we get out of that hellish place. Hearing these words and looking at the boy's innocent smile, the audience in the live broadcast room felt a little emotional. The appearance of the boy also made them realize that perhaps not all D-class personnel were vicious criminals. While talking, everyone had arrived at a fenced-in farm. Looking at the old, dilapidated farm in the picture, no one could connect it with the gate to hell described in the file. 
However, as a dark, strange shadow staggered out of the wooden house, countless people opened their eyes wide, as if they had seen a ghost. What appears on the screen is a vague humanoid creature. The whole body is dark, and the arms are slender like tentacles. There is also an indescribable black mist lingering on the surface of the body. A pair of scarlet eyes filled with madness and violence clung to that head that could not be described with a face. Who knows, before the people at the scene react. Boom. With a burst of gunfire, the monster fell to the ground. Within a breath, it turned into a pool of sulfur emitting yellow smoke. Dr. Kondraki glanced briefly, then withdrew his gaze and explained. Silver-coated bullets are the nemesis of these guys. Obviously, his explanation did not make the D-class personnel relax. Visible fear remained on their faces. The crazy scene of the monster with its teeth and claws just now seems to be still vivid in my mind. And they, about to enter the lair of these guys. Hell, was that guy just now SCP-1983-2? Oh god, doesn't that look like the devil described in the Bible? Demons from hell will turn into sulfur after death. The live broadcast room was filled with an indescribable fear. Even the extraordinary heroes, recalling the terrifying monster just now. I couldn't help but feel my scalp numb. And at this time, in the light screen, Lin Lang and his party slowly entered the farm under the leadership of the agents. Eight D-class personnel, each armed with a camera and carrying supplies, were divided into two teams. Each team is led by three fully armed agents. Lin Lang happened to be assigned to the same team as the boy, and the agents leading them were Captain A with a beard, Team B is a commando, and Ms. C is a first aid team member. Seven people came to the back of the farmhouse. The three agents looked at each other. Bang! Team B opened the wooden back door immediately, and everyone filed in. Seeing this, even the viewers in the live broadcast room subconsciously clenched their fists and even breathed a lot lighter. This immersive feeling touches everyone's nerves. Outside the farmhouse, Dr. Kondraki and several other technicians looked at the monitors in front of them. Connected to the other end of the monitor are cameras carried by D-class personnel. Before Lin Lang's team of seven entered the room, the picture was still very stable. However, the moment they walked through the back door and entered the farmhouse, zizizi, the monitor instantly made an electric current sound, and the screen turned into white noise. Several technicians were stunned, the camera signal is interrupted. As soon as he finished speaking, the rope connecting the camera suddenly tightened. Before anyone could react, it was torn off with a bang. For a moment, the air seemed to stand still. Dr. Kondraki frowned and shouted into the microphone. What's going on? What happened inside? However, apart from the sizzling sound of electric current, there was no other sound in response to him. Seeing this scene. The live broadcast room was silent at first, and the audience immediately became excited. What the hell? What happened? What the hell? An accident happened as soon as we entered the door. What happened inside? Isn't it because you met a demon and was destroyed by the group? Shield. The agent's reaction was no better than that of the audience. Nick Fury frowned. Even if I encounter 1983 too, I won't be helpless. Could it be? Space anomaly. Kamar Taja's Ancient One and Nick Fury generated the same speculation. With the ability to teleport across space, she understands space anomalies better than others. How terrifying is it? And at this time, the picture suddenly changed. Before everyone could react, bang bang bang, dense gunshots and screams appeared on the screen. Vaguely, an indescribable roar could also be heard. The picture is dark. Only the bursts of fire between the bullets are bright. It was this fleeting light that allowed everyone to see clearly what was going on in the picture. I saw Lin Lang and his group running in panic. It's like there is a hellish existence behind you. It was as if how long he lived depended on how fast they could run. Careful people have discovered that among the 3D class personnel who entered the farmhouse with Lin Lang, only the boy remained, and the commando among the three agents was also missing. There are only four people left. The four people fled in panic. During the escape, the female first aid team member collapsed and cursed while running. Ha ha. He's dead. Bilson died like this. Captain, did you see it? Those monsters killed him. Her whole body was shaking slightly with sadness and pain. We could have saved him. Captain A ran last. He ignored the collapsed team members. 
Instead, he turned around and fired while running. He was still mumbling something while firing. Seeing this scene, all kinds of doubts filled the minds of the audience. What happened? Where are the other D-class personnel and agents? Where is this weird place? In the darkness, Lin Lang ran at the front, his sharp eyes seeming to be able to penetrate the darkness. Until everyone came to a fork in the road, Lin Lang quickly said. There is a storage room on the left front. This monster is sensitive to sound. Stop shooting and let's hide in it. As soon as he finished speaking, he quickly rushed into the storage room. Who does this guy think he is? Doctor. Why? Before the female team member finished speaking, the captain covered her mouth and pushed her into the room. Sure enough, there were no more footsteps or gunshots, and the monster's movements also disappeared. After confirming safety, the four people collapsed to the ground with relief. When the effects of adrenaline wear off, the sequelae of high tension sweep over like a tidal wave. The boy collapsed on the ground, his mouth wide open as if to die. Lin Lang and the two agents were not much better. Boy, who do you think you are? Why are you giving orders to us? The female team member hunched over, put her hands on her knees, and said fiercely to Lin Lang. If it weren't for you D. Shut up. Captain A yelled in a low voice. The female team members glared. The two looked at each other for five or six seconds, and then turned their heads unwillingly. Sweat mixed with tears slipped from the corners of her red eyes. Sorry, she did it because of. Bilson's death. Captain A explained bitterly. Lin Lang nodded, sat on the ground, and breathed a long sigh of relief. He glanced at the boy on the ground with a face full of pain, raised his head and whispered. We have traveled through hundreds of different rooms, each with varying degrees of spatial distortion. Captain A listened silently. Besides, there is no sky here, and there is no distinction between day and night. Captain A was stunned. What do you mean? Lin Lang said calmly. This space feels to me like a twisted spatial kaleidoscope, with no exit and no entrance. No, thinking about it, maybe that door is the entrance. Within shield. Seeing this, Nick Fury's eyes became more and more confused. Door. In other words, they came to this twisted space because they entered a certain door. Relating to the space anomaly mentioned in the previous file, Nick Fury's expression looked a little ugly. It also. It's incredible. In the screen, hearing this, Captain A gave a wry smile. To be honest, I almost lost the ability to think. On the ground, the boy struggled to stand up. At the moment, his face no longer had the innocence he had before entering the door, replaced by lingering fear. He looked at Lin Lang expectantly. So, the Foundation will send someone to rescue us, right? For a moment, all three people were silent. The hope in the boy's eyes faded visibly quickly. For a moment, an atmosphere of despair spread, and the boy's deliberately suppressed sobs touched everyone's nerves. Captain A was about to speak when he saw Lin Lang take out a crumpled note from his pocket. There were crumpled words printed on the note, obviously left by someone. Lin Lang also explained the origin of the note. This was previously found on a dried corpse. The author is the agent who entered here before us, his name should be Bakle. In the screen, Captain A was obviously stunned for a moment. You mean, the corpse we found with its heart blown out when we were escaping? Yes. Lin Lang unfolded the note in his hand, and the audience in the live broadcast room could also read the content. Project number, waiting for number, item level, Keter, God bless you. See this familiar format and content, on the blue star. Whether it is a live broadcast room, or an extraordinary chat group, everyone was stunned. They suddenly remembered, isn't this the file format of the foundation's internal contents? Looking at the scrawled handwriting on the note, I then contacted the other person and committed suicide. A picture appeared in everyone's mind. An agent who ran out of ammunition wrote such a file in a desperate environment surrounded by demons. Write down the information that you and your companions have discovered. No one can imagine what kind of belief supports him. Who knows, after the next sentence appears, the style of painting will change. Special containment procedures. You are going to die, you unlucky idiot. See here. Not to mention Captain A, even the audience in the live broadcast room were stunned. Shield. Nick Fury's face was dark. The assistant Maria on the side couldn't help but raise the corners of her mouth. Then I remembered that it was not appropriate to laugh out loud in this situation. 
He quickly suppressed his smile. Shenzhen, it made me laugh. In the screen, after such an interruption, although the atmosphere was a bit weird, it was no longer as oppressive as before. Keep reading. This is not alarmist. I'm Agent Barkley. I'm in this stupid building, and I guarantee you, if you were here, you'd be dead too. By the time you read this report, I may be dead. See here. The boy turned around without saying a word. The female agent's face didn't look very good either. Only Lin Lang remained calm. It's impossible to escape from here, so let's just talk about the containment procedures. Actually, there's only one way. Close the door. Within shield. Nick Fury's eyes flashed. Door. The door again. At the moment he. For that door that keeps being lifted. I am extremely curious. You can't go back. You may have tried it. Those things can get out from here, although it may take some effort. After all, that's why we found this place. I hope you have closed the door when you came in. When we gave up and got out of here, we closed the door. If you didn't close the door, then turn around and close the door. This is your number one priority right now. You're dead no matter what. At least do something good before you die. See here, Stark Industrial Building. Tony looked at the sky with a mocking smile. Do good things. Expect D-class personnel who are treated as guinea pigs to do good things. What the hell are you thinking about? J-A-R-V-I-S. Um, maybe Agent Bakley thought the person who picked up the note would be an agent. Tony shrugged. Maybe, no D-class personnel would be stupid enough to do such a thing anyway. In the screen, Lin Lang and the others continued to watch in silence. Description. So, the cause and effect are like this. You've probably heard it. The Foundation received reports of trouble in a remote area of data expunged. Cows and wild animals die mysteriously. Some people are missing. When a body was discovered, an autopsy revealed that its heart was missing. It was either cut open or taken away, or it was gone. The inside of the chest was empty. They found some dark guys wandering nearby. Some senior people in the Foundation seemed to have seen these things and know how to kill them, use silver bullets and pray to God while shooting. No kidding, literally, I don't know why this would work. It doesn't matter which god it is, but you better be serious. Everyone recalled the captain who muttered words every time he fired. Only then did I realize that he was praying. Captain A saw everyone looking at him and made the sign of the cross on his chest. I'm a Catholic, he said devoutly. Everyone looked at the note again. However, after seeing the nest of those things, I could no longer pray. No matter which task force you're a powerful agent from, maybe seek your nose, maybe choir boys, if you open the door and rush in like I did, you're. The female agent cursed secretly. Hell, they are all agents participating in the mission for the first time, and they are all good players. Saying that, the female agent was a little discouraged. Yes, all those outstanding seniors died in this hellish place. What about us? Those things are hard to distinguish with the eyes here. You may have noticed. They are like shadows. You have to stay away from light sources. In the dark, those things can hardly touch you and cannot see you clearly. I think those things find you through your shadow. But to be honest I'm not sure, I just think it's probably the case. You may have tried walking out the door, but if you haven't done so yet, don't think about it. That leads to something worse. There weren't many monsters there, but. Joan left the house too far, and then. I swear. He started to melt. Things kept exploding from his body. Anyway, he couldn't come back. That's why we closed the door. Seeing this, looks of horror suddenly appeared on the faces of several people present. The viewers in the live broadcast room were even more shocked. No wonder it is said that you will be dead if you come in. Enter. An endless supply of demons awaits. Retreat. It melted immediately after leaving the door. What the hell should people do? In the picture, the female agent cursed secretly. Shit, madman. It was obvious that she had thought about finding the door and leaving. Pity. That is also a dead end. If you want to ask how this place is, I can only say that it is huge. It's not just a farmhouse. It's like, it's like those things stole bits and pieces of space from various places, and then spliced these spaces together at will. Some places look like apartments, others look like shopping malls, and one place is definitely an old closet from my high school. They are exactly the same, even the plaid pattern on them is the same. 
There are also some fragments that are not made of things. It's dark, like shadow matter, and mostly in well lit areas. If the light can pass through, you can put your hand through it. I don't recommend this. That's how we lost Torres. Something grabbed him and pulled him inside. The hole was too small for his head, but eventually he was pulled in. Seeing this, such a picture instantly emerged in everyone's mind. An agent was grabbed by something and pulled toward a dark cave entrance. The file size black hole at the mouth of the bowl is obviously not as big as the agent's head, so. His whole body was crushed by the hole. Thinking of this, everyone's hair stood on end. At the same time, a touch of sadness emerged in my heart. Such a terrifying scene was described in such an understatement by the agent. He suffered more fear than anyone else. Definitely, there is no escape. We discovered this too. Any door you find just leads to another room in this stupid house, or back, and it's obvious we can't live here. So all you can do is wait to starve to death or until one of those things catches you. Plenty of choices, huh? There is one more thing you can do. I couldn't do it, but maybe you can. This won't let you survive, I don't think so, but this. I think it is important. I'm sure someone has to do it, otherwise sooner or later those things will get out and cause trouble everywhere. Thinking of the demons walking out of the farmhouse, everyone sighed. They have obviously gone outside and caused harm to people. I only saw that thing once, for a short while. We follow it after one of them gets Denning's heart. It took the heart and entered a room that I assumed was the center of the place. All are shadow-like substances, and I think they bring all the light sources they can find here. Fluorescent lamps, flashlights, candles, you name it. Those things were still bringing in more light sources as I watched. In the center of the room, there is a large pile of hearts. Each heart was torn out and thrown there in a pile. Those things were thrown onto Denning's heart, and it began to beat and tremble violently. Then it tore open and the new members of the thing struggled to claw their way out of the heart. It swayed, slowly growing in size and shape. What's disgusting is that the heart is still beating vigorously even though it has been torn apart. I swear I felt a sharp pain in my chest. See here, especially the agent's graphic description. Not to mention the agent who wrote this profile, even the viewers in the live broadcast room felt subconsciously heartbroken. Stark Industrial Building. Tony frowned slightly, I guessed wrong. The worker ants didn't bring back food. What they brought back, was a breeding ground for reproduction. Thinking of that scene, Tony felt a chill. That's when I started running away. I can't take it anymore, do you understand? I wasn't trained to handle this stupid shit. I found a closet with the right file size in the dark, and I have been hiding there until now. I write with a small flashlight and turn off the light when I hear something approaching. So far this is working. Seeing this, the audience in the live broadcast room remembered. Even those heavily armed agents are, in the end, just ordinary people. Put yourself in the shoes of a superhero. After encountering such a weird and terrifying scene, I'm afraid there's nowhere to go, right? I can't hold on anymore. I still have some bullets in my gun, but I can't pray anymore, I mean it. But you, if you discover this, you must also be an agent. Maybe you are stronger than me. If you can, destroy the nest. Destroy every heart. If you do that, you might be able to kill them. That's the only thing I can think of. You might die doing this, but you're dead anyway. So what else do you have to fear? I will try to take the report to the living room, where I hope you will find it. Then I want to make sure they don't use my heart to create another monster. Seeing this, I recall what Captain A said before. That corpse whose heart was blown out. At that time, some people were still curious. Since it's suicide, why don't you just shoot yourself in the head? Why break the heart? Until now, everyone suddenly realized. That's how it turns out. For a moment, everyone's heart was filled with mixed emotions. Lin Lang raised the note and placed it in the faint light. Everyone was also able to see the last line of words. Good luck. Go to decedent to pay tribute to you. Go to decedent. Salute you. Shield. The agents who were originally discussing trembled as if they had been burned with a soldering iron. Everyone imagined the agent hiding in the window and writing down the file with the faint light. Imagine the words in the files that are obviously mixed with personal emotions. But I can't imagine it. How did he, after seeing the horror of hell with his own eyes? 
Write such an inspiring quote. For a moment, viewers across the Marvel world felt sour at the tip of their noses. Seeing this, Lin Lang accepted the note. No one spoke, everyone seemed to be thinking about something. Silence for a while. Door. The captain subconsciously looked at the female agent. He said solemnly, when we came in, did you close that door? Obviously. He was talking about the fan that was the culprit that allowed everyone to enter this hellish place. At the same time, it also cuts off everyone's hope of survival. The door to death. As if she remembered something, the female agent's face suddenly turned pale. The atmosphere suddenly became solemn. Obviously. No. That is to say, the monsters here will constantly walk out of the door of death and enter society. Then kill everything in sight. Take away the heart. Walking back inside the door hatches more and more demons. Over and over again. Thinking of this, Captain A's face became serious, but he still gritted his teeth and said. The door must be closed. He looked at the female agent. The other party's body trembled, and he avoided his gaze without confidence. The captain was silent. He seemed to be having a fierce battle in his mind. Hesitating for a long time, he turned his neck stiffly. He turned his attention to Lin Lang. Seeing this scene, the audience in the live broadcast room was stunned for a moment. After realizing what the captain meant, someone immediately started yelling. This guy won't count on Lin Lang and the others. Yeah, this is obviously not the mission of their D-class personnel, okay. Let's not talk about whether the D-class personnel and the agent are together. He and the specially trained people died in pairs, and then you expect Lin Lang and the others to accomplish this. I wish they would die. The audience started to feel sorry for Lin Lang. By society. In the screen. Pissed. Even Lin Lang himself let out a complicated laugh. But after he finished laughing, he held the report in one hand. It could also be said to be Agent Barkley's suicide note. The other hand was rubbing it anywhere on it, not knowing what he was thinking. Everyone heard his low murmur. Foundation Agent Barclay. Barclay committed suicide after writing the report. He exhaled slowly and closed his eyes. As people explained for him, he had too many reasons to refuse this, Aaron. I'm just a D-class personnel, surrounded by only two rookie agents and a boy full of fantasies. Plus, I am a D-class personnel. Even if I am just pretending to be a D-class personnel, I have no good impression of the foundation at all, and there is no need to follow the instructions of the agents. Not only did he ask himself in his heart. As a pretend D-class personnel, is it necessary to dedicate one's life to this world? At the beginning of the performance, he secretly warned himself. Just do your part. So when facing, little peanut, even at that juncture, he still tried his best to bring out the secretions. Because his task is to collect secretions. When facing 682, he tried his best to lure 682 to the mobile task force so that they could take it in. Because his mission is to assist the task force in containing 682. However, this time, he clearly remembered that his mission was just to explore as much as possible and then try to return. Instead, shut the door. It's true that I can't go back now, but. Even if you put a bullet in your temple to relieve yourself, it is better than going to the most dangerous place to die. Isn't it? His eyelids trembled slightly, his expression remained unchanged, and countless thoughts passed through his heart. He looked down at the report. Although turning on the lights is dangerous. But he read it carefully again. When he saw the words, go to decedent to pay tribute to you, again. An inexplicable emotion surged up. He suddenly laughed. The mouth opened silently. The smile is slightly curved. It seems a little ironic. This is the second time since he came to this world that he smiled from the bottom of his heart. This moment, he just thought it was too funny. AD class personnel, now I have to save the world. Ha 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 ha. Finally, he opened his eyes. Then he said calmly. Let me try. He didn't know why he made such a choice. This is an indescribable feeling. It's like a relay of fire. At this moment, the audience in the Marvel world opened their mouths wide and stared at the screen. Countless people even thought they were hearing hallucinations. The live broadcast room immediately exploded. Oh god, what did he say? He actually agreed to it. Shit, why does this guy never know how to say no? It was the same before, and it's the same now.
Don't you know that you are just a D-class personnel? Lin Lang, there is no need for you to face an enemy you can't defeat. The hearts of countless people were clenched by Lin Lang's three short words. Stark Industrial Building. Tony looked at Lin Lang's figure on the screen. Silence for a long time. Then he cursed irritably. Idiot. Stupid. Kamar Taj. A young apprentice came to the Ancient One. Sorcerer Supreme, I don't understand why he agreed to go on this mission. That's not his job, is it? Hearing this, the Ancient One touched his apprentice's head and forced a smile. Someone has to do some things. Bang. As dark as ever. The same gunfire as always. The brief firelight illuminated Lin Lang's slightly excited eyes. He looked pious. Our father in heaven. Boom. Another monster with fangs and claws screamed and roared and disappeared, turning into a shadow. Just put down my arms. There's no time to take a breath. Just relying on intuition, he rolled forward, and another monster quickly jumped behind him to where he was originally standing and passed him by. Raise the gun. Aim. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bang bang bang. Exploding fire lights flashed constantly on the screen. Accompanied by strange howls. All the demons in the room fell to Lin Lang's gun. He stopped praying. He turned to look at the dying female agent on the ground. The female agent's face was pale, a large amount of blood gushes from her throat, and she was already on her deathbed. Seeing this scene, the audience in the live broadcast room were shocked and confused. There were four people there just a second ago. How come in a blink of an eye? Just two people. In the end what happened? Lin Lang squatted down, looked at the female agent and said calmly. Sorry, there are no more medicines. The female agent seemed to have heard something funny. Pissed. While spitting out a pool of blood, he grinned and said. Unless there's some medicine that can help me grow a heart again, I'm definitely dead. After saying that, the female agent reached out and hooked Lin Lang's chin. There was no longer the disdain and disgust in her eyes. Instead, appreciate it, and a touch of regret. If it happens again, I might be attracted to you. Lin Lang still had the same calm tone. The Foundation does not allow anyone to have feelings for D-Class personnel. You, pissed, ahem, you fool, you are as inhumane as ever. The female agent spat out a mouthful of blood again, and the smile gradually solidified on her face. Lin Lang and countless viewers in the Marvel world watched like this. Watching death sweep over this young body bit by bit. For a moment, all the viewers in the live broadcast room seemed to have something blocked in their hearts and could not breathe. Shield. The agents who were angry just now because the female agent evaded responsibility were all silent. People's reactions when they are afraid are the most real reactions. What can they be harsh on the female agent? She's good. Nick Fury said in a deep voice. But while feeling emotional, he still couldn't figure out what happened during this period. Fortunately, Lin Lang has the habit of taking notes at any time. I saw him picking up the camera in his arms and pointing the lens at himself. Three days ago, the four of us divided into two groups and went to find the door respectively. The female agent and I failed to find the door, but found the lair that Bakle mentioned in the report. Perhaps those monsters also noticed that someone came in to fight them, and also understood that eggs cannot be put in a basket, so they divided their nests that were originally equivalent to their headquarters into multiple, strongholds, to avoid being eaten by the enemy in one pot. We cleaned up all the way until now. As he spoke, he held up the camera and turned it around. With the faint red light emitted by the camera, everyone could barely see clearly what was going on in the room. Sure enough, there was a thick layer of flesh and blood piled on the wooden floor of this room. Those flesh and blood beat like a heart. But if you look carefully, you can see that. It's not the heart that beats, but the demons inside it that can't wait to break out of their shells. Seeing such a terrifying scene, the audience in the live broadcast room took a deep breath. What the hell? What the hell is this? This is so disgusting. I'm going to vomit. Are these the hearts that were hidden by demons before? They are indeed using the heart to reproduce. Looking at the squirming and twisting, heart, in the picture, even the extraordinary heroes who were accustomed to seeing strong winds and waves felt a chill. Stark Industrial Building. Tony held his chin and frowned. It's actually used for reproduction. But if they can only use the heart to reproduce, then how did the original demon appear? 
Obviously, this is another, chicken or egg, question. Tony looked at the screen again, and seemed to have discovered something, and his expression was shocked. What the hell is this? I only saw in the screen. As Lin Lang turned around inadvertently, his eyes suddenly focused on a picture on the wall. It was covered with various unknown symbols, the handwriting was sloppy and had a ferocious feel, and the paint used showed an uncomfortable reddish-brown color. There are not only symbols on it, but also various other unspeakable bloody pictures, like a cult sacrifice. Similar patterns have appeared in previously cleaned nests. As he spoke, he took out several bottles of medical alcohol from his bag. Sprinkled evenly on the floor. Then he took out the lighter from his pocket. Snap. Boom. The tiny flames instantly turned into a pool of blue flames. The squirming flesh and blood seemed to sense the danger, and the range of movements suddenly became violent. Vaguely, the audience in the live broadcast room seemed to hear the wails and roars from hell. Lin Lang didn't get up until his heart was burned to black charcoal. After staring at the female agent's body for a few seconds, he took off her, dog tag, walked out of the room resolutely, and ran towards the last lair. Shield. The agents were chattering, but a new face appeared in the crowd. Natasha Romanoff, codenamed Black Widow, came to Nick Fury and said in an unhappy tone. The guy refused to talk to us. Nick Fury was stunned. He didn't see you. I mean, after he saw you, he still refused. Natasha Romanoff gets angry when she mentions this. No, he refused without even meeting me. Although beauty was not her trump card, Lin Lang's inhumane behavior still made her complain. Nick Fury touched his chin, looked at the screen, and said. This guy really hasn't changed at all in his past life. Natasha Romanoff also looked at the screen and pursed her lips. Proud men generally don't have good luck. As he spoke, he noticed Nick Fury's dark face. Boss, you look very bad. Nick Fury was stunned for a moment, shook his head and did not answer. For some reason, when he saw Lin Lang successfully destroying a nest in the picture, he always felt a strange sense of disobedience. Since the heart is a breeding ground for monsters, why are there not as many monsters in the lair as there are outside? In the screen, Lin Lang has arrived at the last, stronghold, which is also the center of the entire house. Every time he, cleaned, in the past, he would have a more or less nervous, tired look on his face. But this time there was only calmness and composure. Even a little bit of relaxation. Three seconds later. Gunfire rang out. Give us this day our daily bread. Lin Lang brought almost all the silver bullets in his inventory to go all out to deal with this last, stronghold. The original lair. So instead of saving ammunition like before, he went all out with no scruples and vented all his emotions to the end. The usually dead space was now filled with gunfire, the sound of things colliding, roars, and Lin Lang's prayers. Forgive us our debts. Bang bang bang. As we forgive our debtors. Bang bang bang. The silver light from the bullets and the sparks from the collision illuminated the entire space dazzlingly. Perhaps even Lin Lang himself didn't notice that at the moment there was an arrogant sneer on his face, which rarely showed any emotional ups and downs. Finally. Lin Lang was no longer depressed. He laughed so loudly that the prayer in his mouth took on an indescribable strange taste. He laughed loudly, shot a monster's head open with his backhand, and opened a glass container tied to his waist. A strong and pungent smell of alcohol spread out. He waved it and scattered it in the target direction. This is a narrow mouth bottle. The mouth of the bottle is very small, and only a small part of it is spilled out. It floats in the air like a transparent ribbon, with a few drops of water scattered behind it. This ribbon, falls, slowly from the air, and just below it is a short candle, burning tremblingly. The moment they came into contact, the transparent ribbon seemed to have been artificially painted a layer of fiery red, and the other end happened to touch the heart pile in the center of the room. As if a bonfire was lit, the room was instantly illuminated. The remaining monsters around began to melt and disintegrate, disintegrating into particles invisible to the naked eye, and then dissipated. The central, bonfire, extinguished after a few minutes, revealing the charred heart in the middle. Lin Lang looked at the unburned embers for a while, then sat down, and finally lay down on the wooden floor. Phew. He breathed a sigh of relief. The fatigue accumulated for three days came like a tide. At the moment, he didn't even want to move a finger. 
Seeing this, the audience in the live broadcast room breathed a sigh of relief and also jumped for Lin Lang. It's finally over. I'm so angry that I can't even breathe. Lin Lang is so handsome. He has a silver bullet in one hand and a Bible in the other. A demon hunter can't do more than that, right? It's a pity that we don't know the condition of the door yet. If the door is closed, the dust will have settled. Door. When this word came into my mind, the live broadcast room where the conversation was lively just now seemed to have been suddenly pressed on the pause button. Yes, there is also a door. However, at this moment, the audience was surprised to find. Lin Lang on the screen not only showed no joy at all, but was actually talking to himself in a daze. Is this the end? It feels like a dream. Lin Lang took a deep breath, reluctantly got up and walked a few steps in the room. However, as he walked, his expression became strange. He walked aimlessly around the room several times, his steps gradually becoming more rapid, and his hands swinging faster and faster. Seeing this scene, even the audience could feel an uneasy feeling of fear spreading in their hearts. Something's wrong. Lin Lang raised the camera again and pointed the lens at himself. At the moment his face was filled with lingering doubts and wariness. But in the eyes of the audience, nothing around him has changed. It's still the same giant. Still no exit. It's still a death state. Shield. What happened? Natasha Romanoff frowned. You finally broke through hell, and now you're confused like this. Nick Fury didn't make any sound, but stared at the screen, as if he wanted to find out the source of Lin Lang's uneasiness. No, that's not right. Nick Fury seemed to have discovered something extraordinary and said in shock, look at the wall. At the same time, Lin Lang, who had just raised his feet and walked a few steps, seemed to feel something. Stop. His eyes quickly swept around. Many possibilities were eliminated by him one by one. At last, his eyes stayed on the wall in front of him. It is engraved with all kinds of arrogant and twisted symbols and patterns. He had seen it before in many rooms. But it's different now. The originally dull reddish-brown color on the top was replaced by a dazzling bright red. Bright as fresh blood, Lin Langjong's remaining relaxation immediately dissipated, and his uneasy mood suddenly reached its maximum level. He turned immediately. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. What? Boom. Gunfire rang out, but the silver-plated bullets and prayers seemed to have lost their effect at this moment. At this moment, the viewers in the live broadcast room felt their hearts pounding at the same time. Two doubts fill everyone's brain. Why are there still demons? Why? Silver bullets and prayers don't work. In the picture, Lin Lang was avoiding the devil's figure in embarrassment. Before he could continue to react, he heard the creaking sound of the wooden floor behind him. He looked back. All the blood in the body suddenly coagulated. No one could describe how he felt at the moment. Just like the mood of all the viewers in the live broadcast room. Hundreds of entities appeared, like human-shaped black holes, walking over and surrounding him. At this moment, despair is like an overwhelming wave. Swept Lin Lang. It also swept the entire live broadcast room. God seems to love and joke. Before Lin Lang had time to be happy about breaking through hell, he once again encountered an existence that was far more terrifying than hell. Vaguely, everyone seemed to hear Lin Lang's bitter voice. Turn out to be, hell is not connected to heaven. But another hell, quote, it seemed to confirm his words. Rumble. The usually dead silence was broken. The floor was shaking violently, and the sounds of things colliding and breaking could be heard from outside the room. The monsters in the room screamed and walked towards the person in the middle of them. In the end, it mixed together like a liquid integrate, squirming like a ball of ink, and only one face could be seen at the top. The real master of these monsters. He closed his eyes tightly and smiled. Shield. Natasha Romanoff watched all this blankly, unable to make any reaction to the situation in front of her. Even despair cannot rise in my heart. This moment. She looked at the small and helpless figure on the screen. Suddenly I feel heartache. Then looking at the strange existence on the screen. Trembling. What is this? Even Nick Fury's dark face was faintly white. He has seen a lot and has even been to other planets with Marvel Woman. But even so, the terrifying giant shadow in front of him still exceeded his imagination. He suddenly thought. Those of them hiding behind the screen were so frightened, so how desperate must Lin Lang be when facing this guy? 
Kamar Taj. Oh my god, what is this? The apprentices screamed one after another, but the ancient one had no intention of answering. Here we go again. She once again felt the terrifying aura from this figure. It was as if there was some kind of indescribable existence hidden behind this guy. She couldn't help but think. How many such things are there in the world where the SCP Foundation is located? How did the humans in that world not fall into madness? Her brain ached again, and she didn't dare to think about it. Thank you for everything you have done. The humanoid shadow monster said. Maybe it's because the heart feels like death after despair. At the moment, Lin Lang calmed down. For a moment, he did not carefully study the true meaning of the words spoken by the person in front of him. Instead, he asked subconsciously, who are you? Lin Lang didn't expect the other party to answer his question. But I didn't expect that the other party thought for a moment and actually replied, you can regard me as our leader and representative, oh, we, are what you call monsters. Devils, devils, shadow monsters. Quote. Seeing this, the viewers in the live broadcast room were stunned. This guy in front of me is actually the representative of the devil. Crazy. In the picture, he was silent for a while, seeming to think of many things, and frowned, you made all of this. Unexpectedly, the giant black shadow in front of me admitted readily. Yes, but we wouldn't have been able to do this without the Lord's help. It glanced around, and its words revealed a hint of admiration and enthusiasm. Shield. Nick Fury frowned when he heard this. Host. The frescoes and altars he had seen before suddenly flashed through his mind. When he tried to connect them with what he had just said, he finally had a preliminary understanding of the current situation. He took a deep breath and began to describe under the puzzled looks of S.H.I.E.L.D. executives and agents. From the beginning, we ignored one issue, the cult that was brought up several times. Cult. The agents were surprised. Natasha Romanoff frowned, thought for a moment, then suddenly looked shocked and said in disbelief. Are you saying that the twisted space in this farmhouse, the demons that can only be killed with silver bullets and prayers, and the big guy in front of you are all caused by cult activities? Natasha Romanoff didn't say a word, and the agent's faces turned pale. If that's the case, then the, Lord, this guy mentioned. Nick Fury nodded and said in a trembling voice, at the very least, he is an evil god level existence. Evil god. Upon hearing this word, all the color drained from the faces of the agents. It's not just him who realizes this. Asgard. Loki sat on the throne with a look of disdain on his face. God. Can something created by a group of madmen using rituals be called a god? In the screen, after saying that sentence in a high-pitched voice, the black shadow stared at Lin Lang. He seemed to want to see something on his face. Pity. One second. Two seconds. Three seconds. A few seconds passed, and Lin Lang's face showed no signs of shock, admiration, or even the most basic fear. Not only that, there was actually a hint of ridicule on Lin Lang's face. Lord, is that what you are like? Lin Lang's hands were clenched into fists, and the muscles all over his body were tense. He gritted his teeth and sneered, what kind of master would choose an unworthy guy like you as his family member? Seeing this, some people in the live broadcast room exclaimed. Obviously, they saw it. Lin Lang was deliberately using words to anger the other party. Unfortunately, the other party did not become angry, but just stood there. After a while, he slowly spoke, the Lord will not fight back against the slanderous words you said about the Lord, because in your still primitive and aging form, you naturally cannot understand the greatness of the Lord. Can't understand, Lin Lang sneered a few times and said in a mocking tone. You can't think of how to give your disgusting distorted beliefs and other bullshit Lord a sacred coat, right? Are you going to use this as an excuse? This time, Lin Lang's words clearly angered the other party. The group of monsters in front of him began to stir when they heard these words, and they let out low roars from time to time. The giant black shadow also frowned, but did not make any move towards him. Instead, it turned around and let out an unknown roar to its companions, and then all entities fell silent. It turned its head and continued to say coldly to Lin Lang. Well, I wasn't going to ignore you, but we can't forgive your ignorance like the Lord. So listen to the following words, which will make you realize how ridiculous what you just said is. And. 
It seemed to have thought of something, and a strange smile appeared on its face, but it disappeared immediately. It may answer your doubts about why you have wiped out all the hearts but the situation is different from what you thought. Hearing this sentence, the audience in the live broadcast room was stunned. Turn out to be, this guy knew what Lin Lang was doing from the beginning. But why didn't it block? Wasn't it the unhatched trask in the heart that Lin Lang destroyed? In the screen, Lin Lang's heart skipped a beat when he heard this. Because the situation changed so suddenly, he temporarily ignored this issue. But now as soon as he reminded me, it immediately took over my whole body. Especially listening to the monster's tone, a bad feeling emerged. Lin Lang's eyes lost their calmness for the first time, looking a little surprised and agitated. Finally, the black shadow spoke again. In fact, what we are now is what humans should really be like. We can also use the word, evolution, to understand that in this way we have stronger ability and potential, and the human body is just a cumbersome shell. Listening to these inexplicable words, Lin Lang frowned, feeling suddenly uneasy. This is what we should be doing. But I don't know why, maybe it's a curse or a restriction brought about by other factors, but the power it represents has always been imprisoned deep in our bodies. In the heart, to be precise. Quote, the black shadow always maintained a tone that showed no emotion or anger. It's like a cage that holds power. As long as the heart is beating, this cage becomes unbreakable. But it cannot die or be destroyed, because the power inside is equivalent to being attached to it. Once the cage is damaged, the power will also perish. Quote. After saying that, it lowered its head and smiled at Lin Lang, and continued. But the Great Lord has given us the key, which allows the power to break through the imprisonment without harming the original in the process. When the heart loses the energy supplied to it by the body but is not completely dead, we can use the key to open the lock of the cage and release this power. And the Lord also needs us. When more and more people evolve, the Lord's will will come closer and integrate to help us reach a new height. Definitely, it sounds simple, but it is a lot of trouble to actually implement it. The preparation of the ceremony alone is very troublesome, but in addition, some other assistance is also needed. Quote. Its words seem to mean something. The audience in the live broadcast room instantly remembered the heart that was mentioned repeatedly before. Stark industrial building. Tony suddenly felt like he was being pricked with needles. Then suddenly the first words this guy said when he saw Lin Lang were heard. Thank you for everything. Thinking of this, a phantom pain seemed to appear in his chest. A kind of fear that he had never experienced before arose in his heart, and the level was higher than all the previous fears combined. Cold sweat appeared in dense patches on his forehead. He had a premonition that Lin Lang seemed to have fallen into a sophisticated and sinister trap, the depth of which he could not estimate at all. J-A-R-V-I-S, Master, our abnormal mood swings have been detected. Tony forced himself to wave his hand, his eyes never moving away from the screen from beginning to end. He already had an incredible guess. Food. A breeding ground. No. Neither. It's a cage. Tony's voice and the voice of the black figure in the picture sounded almost at the same time. As if to deliberately destroy Lin Lang's psychological defense, this guy leaned down and looked at him with pity. When you see, monsters, coming out of the heart one after another, is it easy to think that monsters are produced by these pitiful and weak organs? As if to confirm his suspicion, the shadow continued unhurriedly. So when you want to solve the problem here, do you first think of destroying the source of the monster in your eyes? Lin Lang's back was already wet with cold sweat. He gritted his teeth and retorted. Now that those monsters have been produced, according to you, the heart has lost its function as a cage. After all, destroying them will at least have no adverse effects. After hearing this, the audience in the live broadcast room also echoed. Apparently, they thought so too. Because in everyone's opinion, the heart is either a prison or a hotbed. At least after being destroyed, no new demons were born, right? The black shadow smiled at Lin Lang again, this time the smile was particularly obvious and exaggerated, and it looked extremely weird when matched with its face. Looking at this face, the luck in the hearts of the viewers in the live broadcast room slowly disappeared, and their hearts sank completely. The black shadow smiled and said, Although the heart is fragile, 
its imprisonment is quite strong, and the connection is not generally close. Even though the power is released, some of it still remains on it. As you can see, it's easily solved with a silver-plated bullet and a prayer. So they must be completely destroyed. Quote. At this point, Black Shadow paused. We can't cause damage to it, so we can only rely on other forces, that is, outsiders like you. It lowered its head and said in a slightly proud tone. Otherwise, do you think you could survive until now? As Sombra finished speaking, all the viewers in the Marvel world fell into an eerie silence. All doubts were suddenly solved at this moment. However, they did not have any joy at all, instead. A strong sense of powerlessness. Shield. Nick Fury's eyes trembled. He understands a lot now. Why are there not as many monsters in the lair as there are outside? Why doesn't Lin Lang attract other monsters every time he destroys a stronghold? I also understood the reason for the sense of disobedience that had been in my heart before. Everything was easier than he thought. Yes, how can hell end so easily? This kind of thing where you can only wait for others to do it is quite troublesome. The flow of time here is different from that outside. It usually takes several months or even years to wait for an outsider. Black Shadow ignored Lin Lang's state and continued, In order not to arouse the suspicion of outsiders, we try to adjust our thinking ability to a level that is almost the same as that of Beast, relying only on instinct to act. And when you start trying to destroy the heart, our remaining sanity will automatically take some measures to reduce the difficulty to coordinate with your actions. That's all the truth. Quote. It paused for a while and then said in a soothing tone, but even this situation is very difficult. I have to say that you are quite powerful. You can get through it in one go. I thought you would have to wait a few more times, months. After saying that, it took a few steps back. He made a few strange whistle sounds, as if giving some kind of order. The whole house began to tremble and groan, and the monsters around it began to walk towards it. The plot has developed to this point, which can be said to have completely exceeded everyone's expectations. Apparently, the containment mission failed. At this moment, no one would criticize Lin Lang in the picture. Seeing him slump to the ground, everyone felt only heartache. Extraordinary chat group. Steve. Lin Lang is a true warrior. It's a pity that he didn't get the favor of the god of luck. Tony, no, Steve, you are wrong. Real warriors do not need the favor of the god of luck. They always rely on themselves. Deadpool, yo, Iron Man, that's not what you said before. Natasha Romanoff, Lin Lang has done a good enough job. Unfortunately, this task is too difficult. Waves of despair swept over everyone. Why? Why did Lin Lang and the others reach this point but still didn't end the anomaly? Doesn't it mean that humans really have no chance of winning when faced with anomalies? However, just when everyone was immersed in despair, Nick Fury of S.H.I.E.L.D. seemed to see something that no one paid attention to. In the screen, the black shadow and the demons that are constantly pouring into its body seem to be performing a final, divination, ritual. Therefore, even if Lin Lang was making some small moves, he could not disturb them. For Sombra, everything has settled. However, is this really the case? Lin Lang stood there for a long time, a brainstorm going on in his mind that no one else could see. After a while, he seemed to have thought of something, and his mentality that was on the verge of collapse was suddenly shaken. He regrouped and thought seriously about the spark of inspiration that emerged. You can open the lock with a key. Only halfway through thinking, the thoughts that had been floating at the edge of my mind suddenly became apparent, like an epiphany. He looked around him. There are two bullets left. There is also a dagger with a pitted edge in his hand. And the bottle of alcohol not far from me, which still has two-thirds remaining. In addition, the floor beneath me is a wooden structure. Enough. He stared at the only things he had left, and looked up at the black shadow. It is constantly, fermenting, like a huge amount of virions. He looked at the altar again. It was not that he knew nothing about it. He had played with it and even tried to destroy it when he had. Cleaned several strongholds before but his hasty actions made him understand this thing not deep but enough he knew that the huge black shadow and other monsters never paid attention to him as if he was just an ant that happened to pass by the lot of words explained to him before were just a mockery from the winner to the loser trying to make the latter fully understand the gap between the two 
But now that's exactly what he expected. The collapse just now was just because the change happened so suddenly and so strongly that it made him feel unable to resist for a moment, but it was not enough to completely destroy his heart. All the hard moments he'd gone through in his life, before and after joining the foundation, were right there. Go to decedent and salute you. These were the last words Bakle said to him, and now he said them again to himself. He smiled. This time it was him who smiled, not someone else. So, for the next time, everyone in the live broadcast room just watched Lin Lang scurrying around in the darkness like a headless fly. Pitter patter. Jingle bells. This movement finally disturbed the huge black shadow. It saw Lin Lang's hair was disheveled, his eyes were confused, and his limbs were waving around uncontrollably. I saw him staggering up and trying to run out of the room with the same messy pace, almost tripping over himself several times. After finally reaching the door, he stopped suddenly and looked up at the wall in front of him. The door on top had disappeared. It saw Lin Lang tremblingly looking at the wall that cut off his last hope. His legs were weak and he knelt down. He weakly knocked on the wall with his fists, as if hoping to knock out a passage. It saw that he was despairing, on the verge of despair, and that his reason had been completely destroyed. He was like a fish thrown ashore, jumping around with all his strength, and finally died of exhaustion. When the viewers in the live broadcast room saw this scene, they couldn't bear to close their eyes. The desperate hero is more heart-wrenching than sudden death. Only Nick Fury kept his eyes wide open. What are you doing? Lin Lang. In the picture, Lin Lang seemed to still refuse to give up, holding onto the wall and standing up tremblingly. He took a breath, and then used himself as a starting point to touch the remaining walls of the room. Every step he took, his hands were desperately groping around, as if hoping to find a switch or something in a corner to let him out. His pistol and dagger were at his waist. But what is surprising is that a glass bottle containing certain solutions was also tied around his waist with a rope. Maybe he was too panicked and did not put the stopper on the mouth of the bottle. The liquid in the bottle swayed from time to time with his body. Sprinkle on the ground. Maybe now he is like a drowning person, desperately trying to grab a life-saving straw of comfort, even if it seems to be of no use. However, after repeating this behavior several times, Lin Lang seemed to have finally found his destination. Alter. Dong Dong. Dong Dong. This is Nick Fury's heartbeat. At this moment, he suddenly had an idea that even he found incredible. Perhaps, does Lin Lang really have any other solution? He knew that this hope was infinitely close to zero. But, what if, the huge black shadow at the moment was still waiting quietly for the coming of the Lord, but soon it was disturbed again. This time it wasn't a sound, but some kind of spiritual sensation. It looked towards the middle and was surprised to find the insect standing on the altar in the middle. He held his head high and looked at it, his eyes full of disregard for life and death, which was completely opposite to his previous attitude. But relatively speaking, what attracted him more was not Lin Lang's abnormal mental state, but his appearance at the moment. He was covered in blood and there were many scratches all over his body. These wounds all have one thing in common. None of the injuries were fatal, but they would all result in a large amount of bleeding. At the moment, he had become a bloody man, and his face was pale due to the large amount of blood loss. The blood flowed to the altar at his feet. There was a certain connection with it, and he could feel the blood spreading on it. What are you doing? Black Shadow finally couldn't help but ask. The viewers in the live broadcast room were also stunned. Do you remember what you said? Lin Lang's mood was unexpectedly calm. At this moment, people seemed to see the Lin Lang who was calm in the face of danger again. At this moment, people were just like Lin Lang. The mentality that was on the verge of collapse was suddenly shaken, and the mind regrouped. In the picture, Lin Lang's voice was steady and exciting. When the heart loses the energy supplied by the body but is not completely dead, we can use the key to open the lock of the cage. But don't forget, the large amount of blood loss caused his body to shake violently at the moment, and he took a few sharp breaths. But he still stood still and continued. In addition to opening the lock, the key can also relock the lock. The huge black shadow frowned. Then it seemed to notice something, and its eyes were fixed on the altar. At this time, everyone discovered. The altar has changed. The various patterned bricks on the altar are not fixed, but can be moved at will, just like a puzzle toy. And now, 
if the original pattern when viewed from above is generally an annular circle. So now the circle has been flipped from the inside out. Genius. Tony jumped up from his chair in excitement, and the ornaments on the table fell to the floor, but he kept looking at the screen with keen eyes. If coming by the way is coming, then what about coming anyway? The answer is, seal. Lin Lang calmly stated his plan. The black shadow had begun to feel uneasy, but it still answered forcefully, it's whimsical, so what if it's what you said, the ceremony is not complete. It was interrupted before it finished speaking, I know, we still need a light source, right? Just like you did before, Lin Lang said. The huge black shadow was a little surprised, and then said calmly. Yes, it is light. I can tell you that there must be sufficient light for the ceremony to be successful. And here. It didn't go on, but everyone could understand the meaning behind it. Only Nick Fury's eyes are getting brighter and brighter. He looked hard at Lin Lang, looking at this guy who always seemed to be able to create miracles. As expected, Lin Lang took a few deep breaths, pulling out the loaded pistol at his waist. Just raise your hand towards an unobtrusive corner and shoot. Bang. This shot, without prayer, was enough to dispel the darkness. The bullets flew away, and almost at the same time, there was a crisp sound from the corner. That's the sound of breakables. Buzz. The blue fire light lit up and instantly grew dozens of times in size. The dazzling light burst out in an instant, causing Lin Lang, who had not seen light for a long time, to shed tears. The huge black shadow was silent for a moment, then looked at Lin Lang, did you do it? Its voice is no longer calm. That's right, just when you weren't paying attention to me. Lin Lang could no longer support his body, and he was almost lying on the altar. An abnormal flush appeared on his face, but he was still smiling, it seems like an ant still needs to be careful, it might take the opportunity to bite you, right? In fact, Lin Lang himself was not sure whether this method was effective. Just like before, he was just betting on that one in a million possibility. He doesn't care about his own life. As Barkley said, you are going to die no matter what, so what the hell are you afraid of? Just like before, he made the right bet. Every pattern on the ceremony lit up instantly, and the gorgeous firelight around gave enough energy, and the ceremony began to reverse. The heart cage in his chest opened instantly, and the monsters that were merged with the huge black shadow roared or refused one by one, and gradually disappeared like mist, deprived of their freedom again, imprisoned and imprisoned again and entered him, heart. At the moment, the huge black shadow had completely fallen into panic. Looking at the increasingly fading black shadows around it, it tried to change the scene in front of it, but to no avail. Seeing this, the viewers in the live broadcast room seemed to have experienced a transition from hell to heaven. Countless people cried with joy. Countless people cheered. Stark industrial building. Tony couldn't help but clapped his hands. As expected of you, as expected of you. However, he seemed to have thought of something, and his heart thumped. His movements froze, and the smile froze on his face. He realized a very serious problem. Lin Lang sealed the demons into his heart. What should Lin Lang do? In the screen, Lin Lang ignored it, or in other words, he didn't have time at all now. He was enduring and struggling with the extremely swelling and splitting feeling in his heart and the constant roars and whispers in his mind. His fingers gripped the edge of the altar tightly, his joints turning white. He tried hard to ignore the unwilling roars coming from the monsters in his mind, and concentrated on gritting his teeth, trying to stop the tendency of his heart to burst. You won't last long. The voice of the huge black shadow came, and its twisted face appeared with it. You really don't think that this overestimating approach can succeed, do you? It no longer has the calmness and aloofness it once had. Lin Lang squeezed the clothes on his chest tightly, panting heavily, but did not answer. Why are you doing this? Its mocking voice sounded again. Is it because of that agent? Think about it clearly, he is just using you and wants you to pay for your life and drain out the value of AD class personnel. Seeing that Lin Lang didn't say a word, the shadow thought the bewitchment was successful and continued. They didn't even give you a decent name or code name, just a string of letters and numbers. Do you remember your original name? I'm afraid you don't even know it. Does anyone else remember it? Lin Lang suddenly raised his head. Although he was still in pain, he still said seriously. 
Yes, the foundation has records of everything. When AD class dies, the administrators will file his number and original name. Whether it's D14134 or my original name, they all represent me, not anyone else, and that's enough for me. As his words progressed, his tone became more and more stable from the original intermittent tone, and his overall condition began to strangely improve. Feeling the pain the ocean brought him slowly lessening, he knew exactly what was going on. The viewers in the live broadcast room also know. Reflection. The voice of the huge black shadow is still lingering, as if it is making a final struggle, why on earth are you doing this? What is it worth? Why? Lin Lang repeated this sentence, lowering his head and thinking seriously, well, just because I suddenly had a whim and wanted to try to play the role of a hero. He then laughed, as if he was also amused by this statement, who the hell is the secret to playing a D-class personnel actually, being a hero? Also, compared to those people from the foundation, you disgust me more. He stared into its eyes without any fear. The two sides just looked at each other for a while, and then he suddenly laughed again, without any pressure and with great joy. At this moment, Lin Lang felt like he was truly himself. He is no longer the fearful guy who traveled to the SCP Foundation world. He no longer regards himself as an emotionless D-class personnel acting as a machine in order to complete the system's acting tasks. He is who he is. He is Lin Lang. Yes, he also has an identity. Lin Lang lowered his head and looked at his badge. D14134. The surrounding light became more and more dazzling and fierce, and the flames ignited by high concentration alcohol continued to devour and walk on the wooden floor, leaving only a small circle of space that was not occupied by them. Lin Lang knew that he could not waste any more time. His condition was still very bad and his body was on the verge of collapse. In this rare moment of clarity, he knew it was the end. He stretched out his remaining arm and pulled out the gun tied to his waist, with the last silver bullet left in it. It was right, it was a plan for a snake to swallow an elephant, but he never expected to be able to carry it out from the beginning. He put the muzzle of the gun against his chest and felt the chaotic beating of his heart coming from the barrel of the gun. Seeing this, people in the live broadcast room were stunned. They looked at this scene in disbelief. Hasn't the ritual been reversed? Hasn't it already been successful? Can. Why? In the picture, Lin Lang felt his heartbeat. Plop. Plop. There has never been any god who is above and cannot be looked upon directly. The true god is always beating in your chest. His eyes were still closed, and a relieved smile appeared on his lips. After a moment, his finger pulled the trigger. Boom. Gunshots rang out. The entire death realm seemed to be shaken by this inconspicuous sound. A few seconds later, a dull sound sounded, which was the collision of the gun hand falling to the ground. The flames burned more intensely. From time to time there was a crackling sound. The constantly jumping light gradually expanded, eventually covering the entire room. Submerged his body like a tide. At the end of the screen, a brief announcement appeared on the screen. Aunt Data expunged D14134 brought a closed circuit camera connected to a monitor via a 25 meter cord. He was instructed to check as many places as possible and try to return later. As he walked through the doorway, the camera's feed was cut off. The rope was pulled taut and then snapped. After several hours, SCP-1983-1's anomalies disappeared. Inside, the mummified bodies of several agents were discovered. Document 1983-15, important SCP reports written by agents caught in the anomalous phenomenon, and from the video record left by D14134. The project was presumed to have been destroyed by D14134, who was posthumously awarded a Foundation Star. See this scene. In the Marvel world, everyone fell silent. Especially when the final announcement appeared, the audience was completely overwhelmed. Ooh. Is this the end? Huh, maybe this is the meaning of going to decedent, to go to death resolutely, and never regret after nine deaths. There is never any god who is high and cannot be looked directly at. The real god is always beating in your chest. Is this Lin Lang's belief? He could obviously die in less pain, ah. I wouldn't have watched it if I had known it. Now that I think of the last scene, I can't help but burst into tears. Yes, within shield.
Nick Fury stared blankly at the dark screen in the sky, countless thoughts surging in his mind. Why? Why can he do this? No one knows the answer. After a long silence, Nick Fury silently took off his hat and gave a symbolic military salute to the fading figure in the sky. His action was like a signal, and immediately after, all S.H.I.E.L.D. agents stood solemnly. Not just them, Kamar Taj, Wakanda and even the entire Blue Star. Countless people have built the strongest monument to that ordinary person in another world who just did a stupid thing. Salute to going to decedent. Stark Industrial Building. Tony stared blankly at the darkening screen in the sky, still not believing that Lin Lang died like this. After a long silence, he smiled in relief. Perhaps. Such a result is worthy of a hero like Lin Lang. Countless people's hearts are being touched by Lin Lang. Who knows, before everyone in the Marvel world can remember Lin Lang's death. Just at this time, the entire Marvel world, new words appeared on the screen hanging high in the sky. Lin Lang's second memory from his past life. About to start. Keywords for this issue. Mobile Task Force, Thaumaturgy, Reality Warper. When this content appears on the screen. Moment. Boom. Audiences across the Marvel Universe were shocked. Wasn't Lin Lang dead in his previous life? Why isn't his memory over yet? Shield. All the agents were stunned, and Natasha Romanoff, who was secretly wiping away her tears, was also stunned. Nick Fury looked at the sky in shock, his brows forming a, chuan, shape. Extraordinary chat group. Deadpool, what the hell? Although this guy is very admirable, the question is, isn't he already dead? Steve and Tony's past life is just a memory, right? Tony, no cue, although I don't know why, but, than watching Steve farm, I would rather watch Lin Lang fight his way out of hell. Ha ha. Steve. Get out of here. Natasha Romanoff, are you still in the foundation this time? The keyword is mobile task force. Is it possible that you will become a member of the mobile task force this time? So looking forward to it. Audiences in the Marvel world were immediately excited. Everyone has the same idea as Tony, especially after seeing the mystery and treachery of the SCP Foundation world. Definitely, many people are worried about what will happen to Lin Lang next. The three missions carried out by D-Class personnel were each more dangerous than the last. As the official employees of the Foundation, the Mobile Task Force is afraid that they will be exposed to more anomalies and be more dangerous. Future Technology Building if little Spider-Man's feelings towards Lin Lang were just curiosity and surprise before, now they have completely turned into admiration and respect. After scratching his head and head for a long time, he finally couldn't help but ask. Uh, Lin, what's going on? Logically speaking, your memory should be over, right? Lin Lang shrugged. Finish. Joke. Where did this go? You know, his awakening system is called the SCP Foundation Member Roleplaying System. D-class personnel are just the lowest level members of the foundation. Deliberately putting it off, Lin Lang smiled and said, wouldn't you know if you keep reading? Not to mention little Spider-Man, even he himself is curious about which memory will be exposed next. To know, once you become a mobile task force, you will be exposed to anomalies again. But it is not as simple and crude as 173 and 682. At the moment, the entire Marvel Universe whether it is an ordinary person or an extraordinary person. They all became extremely curious about Lin Lang's second memory. Just when all the audience's expectations have reached their peak. Buzz. Accompanied by a strange noise, the past life exposure screen above the sky suddenly flashed. The originally noisy live broadcast room suddenly became silent. Everyone stared at the screen in the sky with wide eyes. Before the picture appeared, a deep voice sounded on the screen. You are all agents who came out of each department, and that's the only reason you were transferred to the Mobile Task Force. Mobile Task Force represents the, best of the best, within the foundation. As the sound gradually decreased, the picture gradually became clearer. In the picture, an instructor wearing a Mobile Task Force training uniform was standing in front of a group of agents who were also wearing training uniforms and giving lectures. But the audience's eyes are always looking for something. Intel, a belated figure appeared at the door. Report. Medium level agent Lin comes to report. Everyone looked at the sound, and the moment they saw that figure, 
all the viewers in the Marvel world were stunned on the spot. That familiar upright posture, familiar handsome face, and those calm eyes as always. Who the hell isn't Lin Lang? In an instant, the live broadcast room was filled with excitement. What the hell? What the hell? Hell, hasn't the Foundation already confirmed his death? Then who is this Lin? I'm confused. God, have you really brought people back to life? Haha, ha, I really broke out of hell now. Shield. No. Natasha Romanoff frowned and looked at the screen, shook her head and said, if you look carefully, you can actually see some differences. Nick Fury showed a rare smile, but, for us, as long as he is Lin Lang, it is enough, isn't it? Natasha Romanoff opened her mouth, and finally it turned into a helpless sigh with a smile, you're right. Kamar Taj. Oh my god, it's really him. All the apprentices exclaimed, followed by a burst of cheers. Even if the man in the picture is not a superhero. Not mutant. Not even magic. But for these young magic apprentices, Lin Lang. Just a real hero. Ancient One stared at Lin Lang in the picture with complicated eyes. At least in her eyes, Lin Lang's soul had not changed much. The audience was not given much time to be surprised. In the picture, Lin Lang obeyed the order and entered the team. According to the middle-aged instructor, they had become members of the Foundation's Mobile Task Force. And the Mobile Task Force they joined is called Mobile Task Force Epsilon 11. Code name, Nine-Tailed Fox. When the title Nine-Tailed Fox appeared, everyone's expressions were obviously different. Some are excited, some are inspired. Some people also showed expressions of reluctance and regret. A strong white man next to Lin Lang sighed when he heard this. It's actually a nine-tailed fox. I obviously applied for Beta 777 Spear of Hecate. If not, maybe join NU7 Hammerfall. His complaint was immediately echoed by some people, and there were also some rebuttals among them. Beta 777. Just you. Are you a thaumaturge? Have you ever participated in a taumaturgic confrontation? Stop scolding, stop scolding, I'm just complaining. In fact, our nine-tailed fox is pretty good too. When the white man saw something was wrong, he immediately changed his words. In terms of comprehensive ranking alone, our nine-tailed fox will definitely be in the top 10 among nearly a hundred mobile task forces. In terms of combat effectiveness, even if we are compared with those, samsaras, who are covered in iron, we can't give in too much. Quote. Hearing this, the viewers in the live broadcast room widened their eyes. Nearly a hundred. Even Nick Fury was surprised. I originally thought that the SCP Foundation was a small mysterious organization. As a result, you have nearly a hundred mobile task forces alone. It sounds like mobile task forces with different code names have different responsibilities. Nick Fury said thoughtfully, I just don't know what the Spear of Hecate and Hammerfall that guy is talking about are for. The white man seemed to be a chatterbox. Seeing that there were many newcomers around who didn't know much about the mobile task force, he immediately started to show off his talent and knowledge. What? You think the foundation is just a mobile task force? Are you kidding me? He simply sat on the ground and started to popularize science. The basic structure of each mobile task force will vary significantly in order to best achieve its intended objectives. While combat task forces closely resemble military hierarchies and organizations, smaller units may have informal or otherwise confidential chains of command. Quote. The white man raised his fingers and said, mobile task forces vary in size, composition, and goals. A battalion-sized combat task force is trained to respond to highly aggressive individuals, may consist of hundreds of soldiers as well as support personnel, vehicles, and equipment and can be deployed in whole or in part globally to deal with threats. For example, the Hammerfall, I just mentioned. Quote. Immediately, new people appeared and said, how about the hammer drop? The white man's tone was full of envy, and he said with all his treasures, NU7 Hammerfall is a battalion-sized task force. It has three company-sized elements of special infantry, a light armored vehicle company, a tank platoon, a helicopter squadron, a chemical biological radiation nuclear CBRN platoon, a combat engineer platoon, and a nuclear weapons specialist NWS team, as well as additional combat specialists and support personnel. At the end, he proudly concluded, 
All in all, NU-7 is the task force with the most powerful conventional weapons firepower in our foundation. Others retorted, hey, they are all conventional weapons. Are they comparable to thaumaturges? Are they comparable to those immortal iron lumps in reincarnation? As soon as these words came out, the white man seemed to be insulted and immediately started arguing with the man. FK. Guns are a man's romance. Not to be outdone, the man said, armor is a man's dream. Here you are a country fool, over there I am an abyss gazer. Going back and forth has given Marvel viewers a deeper understanding of certain task forces. What the hell, so complicated, oh no, so cool. Spear of Hecate, sounds very powerful. I wonder how it compares to superheroes. I think the abyss feeder, is also quite interesting. Don't forget, the sea occupies more than 80% of the planet's area. Are you all crazy? These are deadly jobs. It is different from the style of the live broadcast room. Shield. With each name and ability of the task force being mentioned on the screen, Nick Fury's face turned paler. By the end of the sentence, his dark face almost turned white. Crazy. You are an organization that contains anomalies, and your armed organization is so terrifying. Not to mention anything else, just one, NU-7 Hammerfall, placed in the Marvel world, is enough to provide the entire firepower of some small countries. Add in those thaumaturgy, memes, reality benders. Nick Fury makes everyone numb. Unfortunately, he thought the SCP Foundation was nothing more than that before. Now it seems that even without those weird containment objects, these mobile task forces alone are enough to threaten S.H.I.E.L.D. In the screen, the quarrel between the two was stopped by the instructor in time as some confidential content emerged. Lin Lang was also called into the office by the instructor. Please sit down. The instructor treated Lin Lang much more seriously than he treated the two idiots who were quarreling. After Lin Lang sat down, the instructor explained. Lin, with your excellent assessment results, you may not be able to stay with our nine-tailed fox for long before you will be transferred to a place with higher authority by someone above you. The two people next to me who were being scolded immediately pricked up their ears. Lin Lang nodded calmly. Those two idiots may have told you, yes, our nine-tailed fox is actually not bad either. The instructor lit a cigarette and said with a smile. Mobile Task Force Epsilon 11 handles security within the SCP Foundation under the supervision of MTFALPHA-1. In other words, we are a special operations team deployed to Foundation sites when standard protocols fail and multiple breaches are imminent. Quote. As soon as he finished speaking, the chatty white man stuck out his neck. That's right, Lin, as you Chinese say, we move quickly, we move wherever we need. Idiot, shut your stinky mouth. After being scolded by the instructor, the guy's neck retracted again, but he still winked at Lin Lang. The viewers in the live broadcast room were dumbfounded. At this point, most people understand it. This nine-tailed fox specializes in dealing with security issues within the foundation, such as containment breaches. Phew. The instructor blew out the smoke and then smiled. Don't worry, containment failures don't happen every day, and... Perhaps he was worried that scared Lin Lang. He wanted to explain a few words, but he didn't know that he hadn't finished speaking yet. Beep beep beep. Beep beep beep. Warning, there is a containment breach on the site. Lockdown response code LRC 21 ANTT Black. Along with the warning sound, the piercing siren also rang throughout the Nine Tailed Fox Task Force training base. Everyone just watched helplessly as the instructor's face changed from white to red, and from red to black. This is such a slap in the face. However, now is obviously not the time to care about this. The instructor stood up and said loudly, Here comes the work. Before he finished speaking, several people in white coats rushed into the office. There is a containment breach at Site 21. Our mobile task force Epsilon 11 Nine-Tailed Fox is required to take immediate and reasonable response to Site 21 and fight against at least one non-executable containment object. The instructor's face was solemn, which containment has failed. SCP-096. What? What? The instructor's voice suddenly rose. His face was even more serious. Containment Breach 096. Hearing about this contained object that even the nine-tailed fox instructors were talking about, the audience in the Marvel world became curious. 
Who is this SCP-096? As a man in a white coat in the picture handed Lin Lang a file of containment objects. SCP-96's information finally appeared on the screen. Project name, Shy People. Item number, SCP-096. Project level, Euclid. Seeing this, Nick Fury raised his eyebrows. Another new level. I don't know what the difference is between this level and Keter level. Special containment procedures. SCP-096 is to be kept in a 5 meters times 5 meters times 5 meters steel airtight cubic compartment at all times. The compartment must be inspected weekly for cracks or holes. No surveillance cameras or optical tools of any kind are allowed in SCP-96's compartment. Security personnel are to use pre-installed pressure sensors and laser detectors to confirm whether SCP-096 is in the chamber. The creation of any photographs, videos, or portraits of SCP-096 is strictly prohibited. Seeing this, not to mention the audience, even SHIELD's Nick Fury frown. Can't create an image of it. What kind of operation is this? Others were also extremely curious. What the hell is this 106? Description. SCP-096 is a humanoid creature approximately 2.38 meters tall. The subject has little to no muscle mass, and preliminary weight analysis indicates mild malnutrition. Its arms are grossly disproportionate to its body, each about 1.5 meters long. Most of the skin is completely free of pigment and has no hair on the body surface. SCP-96's jaw opening angle can reach four times the normal jaw opening angle of an average human. Apart from the lack of pigment in the eyes, the rest of the facial features are similar to those of a normal human. It is unclear whether SCP-096 is blind. It has not been found to have high-level brain function, nor is it considered intelligent. Seeing this, a similar product subconsciously emerged in everyone's minds. Countless people turned pale with fright at what they imagined. Shield. Natasha Romanoff said, A. Hey, in disgust. How disgusting, but why does this guy want to be with a, shy person? SCP-096 is usually extremely docile, with pressure sensors in the chamber indicating that it spends much of the day pacing the east wall. However, when someone sees SCP-96's face, whether directly, in a video, or even in a photo, it will enter a state of severe sadness. Seeing this, Nick Fury was startled. Suddenly realized. Is it strange that we have to allow the creation of its image? As long as we see its face, its attack mechanism will be triggered. But the next moment, his pupils suddenly shrank to a point. Once someone sees SCP-96's face through any means, approximately one to two minutes after being seen, SCP-096 will rush towards the person who saw its face, i.e. SCP-096-1. At the moment, no known materials or methods can stop SCP-96's progress. 096 will kill and data expunged SCP-096-1 upon arriving at 0961's location. In 100% of cases, no trace of SCP-096-1 remains. Seeing this, Nick Fury's face was so gloomy that he almost shed tears. As the last, appendix, content appeared in his eyes. The director of S.H.I.E.L.D. finally couldn't sit still. Addendum. The Foundation has attempted several neutralization experiments on SCP-096, and all have failed without exception. Even if SCP-096 is exiled to outer space by data expunged once someone views the image of 96's face, 096 will still appear at an incomprehensible speed and kill the viewer. Seeing this, Nick Fury suddenly thought of a question. According to the description of this containment, anyone who sees its face will be hunted to death by it. That, he stared at the light curtain in the sky, and a terrifying idea suddenly came to his mind. Once 096 appears on the previous life exposure screen, doesn't it mean that, the entire blue star will see its face? Hearing Nick Fury's words, everyone in S.H.I.E.L.D. took a breath. Hiss. If that were the case, it would be an absolute disaster. Kamar Taj. After seeing the contents of the file, the magic apprentices also panicked. Everyone subconsciously looked at Ancient One, but saw the panic that had never appeared on Ancient One's face. She stared at the screen and couldn't help but think. If that thing appears on Blue Star, it will definitely be a disaster. Wakanda. Father, give the order quickly. 
T'Challa nervously said to the king, We cannot let our citizens take this risk. This moment. Everyone finally understood why the previous life exposure system issued an unprecedented warning to all viewers after selecting Lin Lang. Who would have thought that there would be such a monster in the universe that could hunt it to the ends of the earth just by looking at it? Be quiet. Everyone, be quiet. Shield. Maria's voice finally drowned out everyone's panic. Not to mention whether we will see 96's face, even if we see it, is it possible that this guy can still pass through the dimension and come to our world? Future technology building. Hell, is it true? Little Spider-Man was frightened by 96's file, and looked at Lin Lang in slight panic. Lin, this thing is so terrifying. If people in our world saw it, wouldn't it be in danger? Lin Lang smiled and pointedly said, Don't worry, it won't dare. Little Spider-Man was stunned for a moment. For some reason, seeing Lin Lang's calm and calm expression, he subconsciously chose to believe it. I didn't even bother to ask. In the end, 096 dare not. Or the past life exposure system does not dare. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.